Welcome to the Intoxicated Flamingo. I am your host, Jen, who has apparently lost her marbles today. I have done take after take after take, and I just, we're going to stick with this one. Although I said that earlier, and I still did about five more. So, here we are. It is the Intoxicated Flamingo's birthday. We turn one year old today. And um, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has been around since the beginning and those who have joined in. And may you continue to follow us and may we gather more followers. So, with that being said, my pirate jacket is done. I have my Goonies, of course, uh, with my little drinky drink in there. It is not water, it's a seltzer. I found this Buzz Ball. And I thought, this is just too cool. It's a lot of colada. So, and you can never have too much of colada. Then I also have rum cake. And this one is not the original. This one is a pineapple flavored. So I've got my, my itty bitty little rum cake here. I thought I'd try that. I have not tried this. I haven't even opened it. You're supposed to check it really well. But, uh. Pebble said she didn't care too much for it and ended up, whenever it was, obviously she didn't know me, otherwise she would have gave them to me instead of throwing them away. So, we'll see. It's 15, this little thing is 15% alcohol and it's women owned. So, I thought that was neat. So, in celebration of, I was hoping to have, I always have plans for other things to go on and I'm the idea person. I'm not the put it into play and figure it out person. I, I, mm. I like this. Better than the original. The original was okay. I had a... This one tastes better. I like this one, but it's been months ago. I should go get another one. I should buy a bunch of them and shut down and shampoo them all together. I might do that. Mm hmm. Oh, pretty tasty. I wish that you can taste the rum in there, but you might need more. So, okay. Moment of truth. We'll see. It's a lot of colada, premium rum, coconut cream. Pineapple lime juices. We shall see. Shall I just chug the whole thing in one gulp or should I sip? I can't. <laughs> I can't open it. I, got a pen. I don't think that will work. Okay. I really don't want to snap off my nails. I snapped off this nail way down low. That one hurt. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> this smells like pineapple. Okay, I'm just gonna say, Pebbles don't know what she's talking about. Maybe she didn't shake them first. I'm gonna hear about this later. You know I will. That's um. Ooh, I like this one. I'm buying more of these ones. There's a lot in there. We should, um, <clears throat> I'm hoping the burps may not be as frequent, but I'm hoping they will be very productive. <laughs> they should have some uh, <clears throat> volume behind them. I can't do the whole thing at once because it glugs out. And it's, I don't like that. Okay, so that's a yes for Lada Colada, okay? Buzz balls. I like it, but I'm a pineapple person. <sighs> Give me a minute. Wow. So I'm the kind of person I love. My favorite pizza is uh, pineapple, pepperoni, and banana peppers. Delicious. 
if I have chicken, if I see chicken and it has pineapple with it, cooked in it, oh my gosh, gimme, gimme, gimme. This, oh. I had lived in Colorado and I had deodorant that smelled of pineapple and coconut. It actually smelled like sunscreen. I was part of the parent teacher group and we were doing oh we were registering kids for um for that new school year. And um uh, I'm in my early thirties and I'm sitting there at this table and the one one mother made a comment about I smell sunscreen. Somebody smells like they're ready to go to the beach. So the rest of the time I just sat with my arms down. I was like, and I never, I never wore that deodorant again when I was going somewhere. I'd wear it if I was staying at the house, but I wouldn't wear it out and about. Just because I didn't realize, but I, if I, it, my husband had to ask me, please stop using pineapple scented air freshener because he knows, you know, when you go through and you're using the air freshener, you're, you're covering up stink. And so he was associating pineapple with stink. So. So now we use clean linen. Or sea breeze or something like that. I don't know. So I um wow. My project for today is um a little different. Okay, I gotta take this off because it's digging this little bit. It's like tin foil, it's digging into my ear. <laughs> like I said, they should be very productive. So I got this. I went and ordered this off of Amazon. Sorry for the crinklies. Um, I think I had seen it in Hobby Lobby, but at the time it was just one of those, oh, hey, that would be fun. Buy all that in the back. <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> Air, focus, Jim, focus. So what I am, um, squirrel. There, um, uh, I had seen this, it's, it's, um, balloon animals kit and I had seen it at Hobby Lobby, but I didn't think of getting it at the time. My mind was on something else. <clears throat> there we go. And, um, hopefully this will continue. So as I realized, oh my gosh, it's the birthday of my channel. We should do balloon animals. Oh my gosh, that would be so much fun. I was going to have silly string and cupcakes. I was, was going to have a lot going on. And as you can see, <laughs> here we are. But that's okay. That's okay. I, I will get better at the planning part, okay? So I, I'm realizing there's a lot of videos I need to do in the middle of summer and then have them ready to go. Um, so this came, this actually came with two things. So I'm doing, I'm doing a craft show, uh, also on Saturday. So as you guys are watching this, I will be at a craft show, hopefully selling my wares and we'll see how that goes. I'm <laughs> fingers crossed. Um, but I've got purses that I sell and they don't stay standing up. They always want to fall over. So I've got a bunch of balloons and with the purses and then so I can blow up the balloons I thought I'm gonna take this I am not gonna kill myself trying to blow up these balloons while I'm there so just to put it inside the purse and help hold the purse open and you know maybe I could use that as a song but you get a free balloon <laughs> buy a purse get a free balloon so years ago I had but yeah so this came with two of those and then all the balloons but no instructions so I was like, oh crap. Years ago, I had done, uh, I bought a thing of these balloons. Nothing else. I'd never done balloon animals before. And honestly, I'm thinking this is gonna be nothing but a lot of snakes and worms. And the cat, where'd he go? He's not in here. Um, he was going nuts over it. So I ended up popping it and letting him play with it then. But he was getting his claws stuck in and snapping. Uh, it was mostly hitting me, not him. So these cannot be blown up. 
this way at all. And I remember at the time, I mean, I was going through, I was like stretching them out and everything, trying to blow them up. Not going to happen. So I am glad I have this thing. Um, but I also didn't know when you blow it up, not blow it up all the way, because then, you know, you have to have twisty room. And I didn't know that at the time. So um, we're going to go ahead. This, I'm going to have to admit, I did at least blow up the one. Woo! to make sure I knew how this worked. And this may have been a bad idea. I'm one of those people, the balloons scare me. I mean, I love balloons, but I'm afraid of them blowing up in my face. <laughs> I've had that happen a time or two before, and it's just like, I don't know, so we'll see. But, I know that I'm not supposed to blow it up all the way. Oh, come on. This one's... <laughs> but I looked up how to make a... Um... Oh, my... Uh, I'm going to... Holy crap. I know it said that there's supposed to be an inch left of balloon. I mean, you really can't pause... I think it's sucking the air out as it goes. Oh, fine. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Whoo! This may have been a bad idea. You okay, Tika? <laughs> She's like, what the hell are you doing? So I had to look up on YouTube how to do um, oh my God, balloon animals for beginners. And um, and it, it instantly came up with the dog. And I'm like, oh my God, no, I don't want the dog. And, um, oh, this one went much better. Maybe there was something wrong with that other balloon. Okay, that's going to work. <laughs> that's more than an inch at the end, but that's okay. <sighs> but, um, so I, I did, I mean, before I watched the video, I didn't make the dog. I just watched how to do it. And, um, so there we go. And we got extra at the end, but I'm sorry. This, these are very thick, okay? And... I know on the website, well, that website, Amazon, when I was ordering them, they're much thicker because I guess there's some that you can get that are really thin, but those ones are going to pop more. So, yeah, I don't want that. So, okay, so I'm going to move all these. I, I will have plenty of practice pieces. <clears throat> oh, my drinks are gone. Oh, my drinks are gone. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have this in the fridge, another seltzer. So this is 5%, but there's at least two servings in here. So this is 10%, right? And then the single seltzer I had was 5%. And then this little guy was 15. So we're sitting at 30%, right? If I did my math right, is that how that works? I'm gonna say that's how that works. Me and Pop Tops today. And it's fine too, the last one was this flavor too, but much smaller. It's a little skinny. So the same day I bought my glass, my Goonies glass, I found my Goonies cozy. And, oh, it's gonna be too small. You know, I can. I can make it fit. I got everything cleaned up and everything's in the pierced plastic, so we're good. Oh my god. Ta da! Oh, I made it fit. Okay, just so you know, the can cozies will fit these big tall ones. That's nice. Um, I just need to turn it so that. There we go. Much better. 
I am not OCD demon. I am not. It's just got to be a certain way. That's all. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Well, we may have gotten it on there, but it may not stay standing. It's going to be about as wobbly as Jed. Okay. So. But the more I'm thinking about it now, since I have the pirate jacket and all the rum, well, I had all the rum, I should do a sword. I don't know how much harder it would be to do a sword than what it is. Okay, so close that. Um, no, 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 no. No, stop. Um, beginner, beginner sword. How to make a sword balloon. A balloon sword. Oh, and it's the same guy. Cool. Uh. I don't think I can do that one. Oh my gosh. Um, I kind of, should I turn the volume off? Okay, so he's, this is one of those, uh, all I put in was balloon, animal balloons for beginners, and he's like, uh, one of the first ones that popped up, um, step by step. Oh no, no, we don't need to do more advanced. Those are cool. You see me at the Renaissance Fair. I'm sorry, I'm trying to... First Sword Version 1. Okay. Leave a little bit of uninflated. I love it. Make sure you inflate. Okay, so we're going to take this. What should I do here to make the twist? Make the twist. Squeeze. And twist. Just how many times is it twist? Pinch, twist. Okay, I got that. Oh, he does it quite a few times. Okay. Now, here's something you need to know. Now, if I let go of my left hand. Yeah, it's gonna undo. I know that. I know to hold it. Okay, we could skip ahead a little bit. Oh shit. Okay, wait. Okay, so right here. And then we're gonna. It's scary when they show this. I'm waiting for the whole thing to pop. And like I said, the whole thing. That's like a lock. Yeah. It locks things in. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> and now we're gonna do another one. About the same size. Oh, I probably did it too big. And then we're going to do it again. And there is my sword. This is supposed to be... I did something wrong. Okay, can we undo? Oh, shit. I don't know which way I twisted things. I think I'm making it worse. So, there's one. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can't do this again. Oh, and it's purple. I don't match my jacket. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Woo, look at this one go. You okay, Tika? You look nervous. Okay. Oh, I just threw that on the floor, so I guess we're done. After that, um... No, 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 I don't want to do a different sword. Stop, stop, just stop. Okay. All right, so our sword. Actually, okay, so we're going to take it, we're going to twist right here. I don't need a super long handle. And then this piece, I do know you have to hold this while you twist this. Oh, but we're going to do this. Oh my God, it's so tight. And we're going to... and lock it, right? And then, right, okay. And then this is about the same as that, and we're gonna twist. But I'm waiting for it to pop, because it scares me. It scares me, so. Ta-da! I got my sword! <laughs> 
So, okay, so first try, I guess this would have been... Or mouse, I don't know. Um, yeah, so there we go. Yay, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look it up to see how it was done, but, you know, okay. Um, oh, these aren't the same now. Okay, well, I'll have some practice, and um, it's going to be a while before I do flowers and <coughs> some of the other, some of the other stuff. I have been I have been watching so my husband and I the other night we watched um, Hocus Pocus 2 I will say it's cute if you have if you have kids particularly little girls they'll probably love it I mean if they like the first one they're gonna like this one it it was cute the way that they did it and seeing the Sanderson sisters as little girls was quite comical uh, I love whoever they got to play those girls. They did they did good on their um, selection. But I'm thinking I need to dress up. I need to dress up as one of the Sanderson sisters. Sanderson sisters. Um, and I think we all know which one would be so perfect for me. It would be Mary. <laughs> I love Mary. Although I love the other one. Uh, is it Sarah's? I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. <laughs> oh my goodness. But it was cute. It was cute. I, I liked it. The first one's still my favorite. And I watched that the other day along with uh, Adam's family. I want to dress up as Morticia. But I would also love to be a grown up Wednesday. Um. I don't know that my husband would appreciate me dressing up. Well, I mean, he would appreciate it, but I don't know that he would appreciate me doing it for the channel if I did Elvira. I love, I grew up watching Elvira and I was just like, oh my God. I just, I really liked, I really liked Elvira. But, um, yeah, that would be, that would be fun. Some different costumes to do or, um, what was the mother's name on the Munsters? She would be another fun one. Because, I mean, I've already got that gray streak growing. Going, not growing. I'm going to set that down before I do. <laughs> I'm going to knock something over or something. Um, but, yeah, I was uh, the Corpse Bride, Nightmare Before Christmas. I mean, I was just going through all the different movies <clears throat> yesterday. I don't know why I put my hand in front of my mouth. I do it all the time. I'm the only one here. <clears throat> so, I don't know why I do that. I just, I just, it's reflex, I guess. Why? Right, because usually I'm out in public. And there's other people around. Of course, not so much. I stay here. I create. I go nuts. So, um... But anyways, okay, so that was fun. That wasn't as terrifying as I thought it would be, but twisting those, they're hard to twist. So if you get the ones that are a little thicker, they probably hold up better. Um, the other ones, the cheaper ones may have popped better, but I mean, still, I, mean, I paid $14 for this and I got all those balloons plus two pumps. Yeah, and that's it. No instructions. So you might want to double check, make sure they come with instructions. So, but YouTube, that was great. I was great. Just walked me right through it. And then he had some other fancier swords with the swirls or the little, um, the where you, you put your hand in. I know I'm going to catch grief for this, especially for my friends. Um, oh, God. So when you slide your hand into the sword and you have, like, the, the guard that's over your hand, where you can do the different little balls right there and... I would be terrified to do, I was terrified to do sausage links earlier. That's all I was doing was little sausage links just to practice twisting them. Uh, but he was twisting them a lot. I twisted them like two or three times, but he was like, twist, 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 twist. it was like, holy crap, you're screwing on a lid. But um, anyways, so we'll see. I may wear some different, um, I don't know, costumes. I do have another pirate jacket I may wear. I gotta make sure, I think I have 
the undershirt for it. I have got a really good buzz going on right now, and <laughs> my poor husband, he comes home tonight. This is what he's going to come home to. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, all kinds of fun. I love, I love Halloween. I, I really do, and I, I really wish it lasted longer, like six months long. Um, I see absolutely nothing wrong with decorating your house with Halloween all the time. Possibly, I, I may, I've got the donations coming in. I thank you. So if you go to the homepage and you go to the about, there is a donation to channel. And, um, and I appreciate it. The ones that are coming in, I, I, I love you guys. I, I thank you so much. Um, and there's also a link to my Flamingo Incognito on Facebook. So please go through the link to get there because if you go there any other way, you're not gonna find me because I renamed it. It used to be Sandvik Creations and then I changed the name and I didn't realize it didn't transfer over to the link. Had I known that, I would have canceled the whole page and just started a new one. There is another person who does Flamingo Incognito, and it's for lawn ornaments. I haven't really gone in and looked at their stuff, but I need to, but I don't have a lawn. Okay, so my face, those of you who know, my face is tingly, which means I have got really good buzz going on right now, but I'm also wired. That's a dangerous combination, and... <laughs> oh. I don't know if you heard that. That was a cheers. That was a clink on my teeth <laughs> with the cup. Anyways, I, I do. I have so many plans for the first of the year, and I'm just, I'm really excited. I'm not going to go into detail now. I'll do that later on because I get very excited about things, and then something will come up, and it's like, oh. No, not going to do that, but I will do this. So I'm just going to wait, and as things get closer, I'll let you guys know. So anyways, thank you for coming. Thank you for, for staying with me on my adventure of my birthday of the channel. And, and first time ever playing with, um, I know I didn't do an animal, but playing with the balloons. So that, that was fun. I like these. Um, I'm so terrified of them. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a marvelous weekend. I will. And I will see you guys next week. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later.